I want to begin by talking about just how important media has become to the marketing mix over the past few years. And that's no surprise to anyone in this room, but I want to char characterize media's importance in a different way and, and it will hopefully illuminate not where we stand, not just where we stand now, but where we're headed and why. For a few years now, we've seen increasing evidence that the role media plays in marketing arena has emerged front and center. We're no longer sitting in the caboose, but instead we're often seen, seen driving the train. That's been the case for a while now, but in fact, it's been years since the media team has relegated to the last 10 minutes of a new business pitch. However, there have been a few new developments in the past few years or so that, I've, that have altered the equation even more in media's favor. And you're going to hear about some of those today, but suffice it to say that they include contemporary words like big data, cross-media analytics, content collaboration, addressable, geolocation, programmatic, just to, fit, to mention a few of the more prominent ones. What created this emphasis? Well, clients demanded it, and the industry responded. Clients found themselves in a new world where their customers were consuming media in ways never before seen due to the advances in technology and leading to the creation of new media platforms. Streaming media, owned and earned content, mobile apps, addressable television, consumer forums, gaming, and all the new channels of communication that have given our consumers the ability to watch what, watch what we want, where we want it, when we want it, with or without commercial interruption. And as a top priority, advertisers demanded that we help them figure out a way to understand the challenges posed by the new media. It was one of the top issues in the agency 2020 research that Mark Swan Ahrens presented yesterday. Just to give you an idea of what some major marketers and industry association, C industry association CEOs are thinking about media these days and where they believe it's going, please take a look at this. As marketing has become so much more focused on being more relevant to not just a segment, but to a person, now, you know, our audiences really expect us to know them much more as an individual. You know, interestingly, we're expecting our media partners to kind of bring the level of insight um, and the level of understanding to ensure that we're really relevant and not just at that audience level, but actually down at the individual personal level. Media has uh, probably been the greatest point of evolution in our industry today. We think of media as creative. We think of media as the sledgehammer that's literally driving sales. Why? Because marketers now have the capability to be able to pursue their consumers and their customers from a variety of angles. The last five years, media and marketing has made such a significant change. Media is converging with all aspects of our business. All of our senior leaders are thoughtful about it and thinking about how it can help them connect with their customer in a thoughtful and meaningful way. Everything we do, everything, has some kind of uh, media focus to it, whether it's trying to understand the, uh, the value of a like in social media, whether it's about uh, standardizing um, advertising units in uh, mobile uh, without diminishing the creative opportunity, uh, whether it's understanding uh, how to measure uh, media exposures across different media platforms that previously didn't have consistent uh, metrics. We know that marketers are really starting to think about how to market more real time um, and how to use the insights and the data that we get um, to change the way we market and content will be more and more important. So using YouTube power creators, um, people on YouTube with 50 million viewers, um, they are coming to the brand with storylines and insights and content. So we're creating campaigns around that. So I, I would say that's, a, that's one of the most compelling changes I've seen with media really changing the way we market. I've seen the evolution of our media agency partners to become far more strategic. The ability to help us connect the dots and figure out how to take our message to the right places at the right time has been paramount to our success in meeting the business goals that we have. Today, our audiences are less interested in being promoted to and less interested in being marketed to um, and almost are looking for a level of interaction that doesn't feel like marketing at all. And so that's where we need the help from our media partners to understand what's the right kind of content, the right kind of 
our own content, third-party content, media-produced content, so that the exchange and the marketing itself really feels more like, again, something of a, a different level of value than something that's about promotion and something that's about, you know, pure marketing. No one could have envisioned the transformation of marketing and media over the past decade. The capabilities that we have as an ecosystem are unparalleled. We're never conceived. The ability to have that dialogue and that communication where we are doing mass marketing on a one-to-one -one basis was never could have been conceived, but we're realizing it now. I think it's absolutely been a, an evolution of us in, in the last five years where media, because of the, the blurred lines of paid, owned, and earned, our media agencies are involved in all aspects of our communication like never before. I'd say the, uh, uh, the, the relevance of media in the, uh, the digital industry and to marketers and to agencies is profound and if possible it's growing even more profound every day. Marketers are in the mix, uh, not just making demands, but contributing solutions, I think to a greater degree than they ever have, at least in the uh, 25 or 30 years that I've been involved with the advertising industry. I think media is commanding more of a attention from the senior team, um, primarily because the entire question of the choices we have to reach our audiences has e expanded to a point to where that's becoming an even more strategic part of, of the marketing mix and the marketing and kind of planning process. I mean, what we consider media has completely changed. And as we define media in such a more broad way, that, that question of media becomes much higher on the agenda of the senior team. Media is definitely commanding more attention of senior uh, marketing management, uh, all the way up to the CEOs of uh, consumer brand marketers. I think that's kind of self-evident. At Johnson & Johnson, the, um, the, the senior level folks are really embracing technology and social media in a way that we've never seen before. It's really exciting. The level of senior engagement in media, I think, has uh, dramatically risen over the past couple of years. And it's actually had a beneficial effect on the chief marketing officer. Here's how. The way we now reach our consumers, it's now, as we all know, uh, a two-way dialogue. And who better to have that dialogue with consumers than the chief marketing officer? I think the new approach that you'll see over the next couple of years as it relates to media will be really organizing ourselves in a way that helps us leverage real-time marketing. I mean, we're really moving away from that traditional model and it will require a lot of behavioral change. What we as an industry need to do is to bring greater standardization for how we look at the total investment package that marketers are managing and to be able to come up with more standardized approaches in how that evaluation process should take place. I would say globally how important it is that we start to leapfrog and focus on being quicker in the digital space and especially in the mobile space when you're talking outside U.S. But I think it's really exciting because I think that as people gain more access to information, the world becomes a better place. How much closer we're going to get to consumers? I don't know, but we will get closer to consumers. The way we market to consumers will absolutely be overthrown from the way we are doing it right now. Right now, we're still relying upon a lot of push messages and far less on the exchange and interaction, growing and improving. But I see the push declining, the exchange increasing in big ways. And I think marketers need to be savvy to those changes because the more that we engage in that exchange and that dialogue, the more consumers will become brand loyal. I think we're in the midst of a revolution. I think that there's so many new opportunities that are media-based. I think it's going to be a fun time as we look forward. So I think the message is pretty clear. The, the popular buzz has always been content is king, but I think media is looking pretty regal these days. And and of course, it's up to us, um, you know, as media people to respond. And I'm here to tell you that uh, forays is most definitely on the case. As Nancy mentioned a little earlier, in the last year, I was appointed chairman of what was previously known as the Media Policy Committee. 
One of the first things we did was change the name to the Media Leadership Council. We thought this was important because we wanted to get across the idea that we need to lead. We want to get out in front of the issues in this very, very fast-changing media world. We felt strongly that the words policy and committee represented the wrong messaging. We also adopted a new mission statement for the Council. Here it is. Our primary objective is to elevate media in all its forms as a crucial component with the advertising industry and position media as a key element in the mix of marketing solutions employed by our agency's clients. We think that this meets the brief from our clients, the marketers, precisely. We then asked our members to highlight their most important strategic priorities, and they gave us 21. We prioritized and whittled these down to three. Why three? Well, we want to make a difference, and we feel strongly that the best way to do that is to focus. We know that if we try to do all things or be all things to all people, we'll probably end up spinning our wheels and getting nowhere fast. So Nancy mentioned them too, but they're worth talking about again. The top three priorities are cross-media measurement, addressable communications, and mobile readiness. Firstly, cross-media measurement. Because there's never been more pressure on marketers to prove return on advertising investment, and cross-platform kind of demands that we understand consumer behavior in this environment. We'll talk more about these during the day today. And then addressable. Addressable digital programmatic communication has been a possibility for some time, but addressable has come to TV, radio, and out of home, and it requires much deeper investigation and understanding. And thirdly, mobile readiness. Mobile's taken off like a rocket, but there are many challenges before we're able to exploit the platform to its full potential. And I'm sure it hasn't escaped you how each of these areas relies on the other so that there's a renewed focus on collaboration between the mentors of those teams. So we'll be exploring these in presentations today and expect to continue to hear a lot more about them in the short to medium term future. And to be sure that these aren't the kind of priorities that we change every year. We'll work hard at them until we've made a difference. And we won't kid ourselves. We know what progress looks like and we'll keep on measuring and reporting until we've achieved substantive results. You'll be hearing more about each of these priorities today. Each priority is mentored, if you like, by a member of the Media Leadership Council, and each one will deliver a short presentation on their topic today. We have a great day planned for you, um, so stay alert and, and on your toes. There'll be no less than 20 presentations covering topics ranging from the future of radio to a step-by-step -step guide to how to get you through to 2020 and other topics that pretty much run the gamut of, of the changing media world today. You'll also see in here top-to-top -top discussions between CEOs and their clients, a controversial debate about data where we'll pick a winner, three separate keynote presentations and four panel discussions. And all will have the theme of transformation at their core. But before we begin, I'd like, to, I'd like also to tell you about tomorrow. It's called the Tech Crunch Startup Showdown. There'll be 15 of the most promising advertising startups Three remarkable judges, Terry Kawaja, Haney Nada, and Wenda Millard. And the morning will be moderated by Anthony Ha, who's a TechCrunch editor. Think Shark Tank meets American Idol. And you get to choose the winners. And it'll be fun, but it'll also be a very important part of our business that's fueling innovation. So it's something that you really need to understand to be there. So thank you very much for being here, and I hope you enjoy the day.